When I started going to Israel, we were cautioned to be very, very careful what we said as Christians and how we talked. Today, you can go to Israel and you can walk down the street and you can meet a Jew who is a follower of Jesus Christ. One of the first things I do with my groups when we go to Israel, the first day of our tour, we go and take a boat ride on the Sea of Galilee. Two years ago, or two trips ago, when I was there, uh, we got onto the boat, and the captain of the boat put his hand out and called me brother. And he said, I'm a Christian. And uh, we got out on the Sea of Galilee, and we began to praise the Lord and worship. And when we were finished, he gave his testimony of how he had come to Christ and sang for us. And it was, a, it was like a revival time. But there are Jews all over Israel today that have come to Christ. There are at least 70,000 Jews today in Israel. Messianic Jews who have given their hearts to Jesus. And we're seeing that here in the United States. I have the picture in the bottom left corner there. The gentleman you see uh, is a pastor in the Free Lutheran Church. He was a member of my congregation in Minneapolis. A Jew. And you know what happened to him? We had a visitation team from our church went out and called on people. And that night when they went to his home, he gave his heart to Jesus. And as we look at all of these things and put it all together, we see the Lord today working in a mighty way. And you and I are witnesses of all of this. But let me close with this. You could attend prophecy conferences from here until the day the Lord comes. You could study up and know as much about Bible prophecy as anyone on the face of the earth. And die and be eternally lost. Because you see, prophecy isn't what saves us. All the head knowledge of Scripture is not what saves us. Our salvation is in the person of Jesus Christ, what He has done for us upon the cross. And the fact is that if we belong to Christ, by virtue of our salvation in Jesus, our faith, believing Him to be the true Son of God, died, buried, raised again from the dead, and our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, we are part of God's program. And it really isn't all that important that we have all the answers and all the ins and outs and know all there is to know as long as we know Christ. And if Jesus comes tonight, if you're a child of God, you know He's coming to receive you unto Himself. He said that where I am, there you may be also. And that's my prayer and that's my plea for all of us tonight. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that we can come here and look at your word and see, Lord, the images of your word coming to pass in our lifetime. And as you made promises to Israel, and then we read scriptures where you make promises to us, to your own dear children, redeemed through the blood of Christ, we know that those promises are for real and that they will come to pass, Father, because you said. And we're just so thankful tonight to serve a God who never breaks a promise, a God upon whom we can depend in every circumstance to come through. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the blood that was poured. But thank you tonight that that's only the very beginning of an eternity with Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Uh, just real quick, uh, before you...